friends welcome back so we are watching another fantastic video today and the title of this video is Indian calculator master of maths so guys before we go ahead and watch this video it says brilliant Indian student so make sure to yes if you're new to the channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you get notifications of all our lovely videos as soon as we upload them and after watching this video if you like it and i'm sure you will enjoy watching it click the like button and share the video with your friends and family so okay let's go ahead and watch this beautiful brilliant video so Five, six, three, four, eight, five, six, you could get it. Plus minus Right answer. Forty-one, twenty-five, eighty-six, thirty-nine, eighty-five. Plus six. Right answer. Seventy-four minus twenty-three, fifty-eight. 
That is? 109. 74 minus 25, 86. Plus minus, minus mixture. That is? 102. Right answer? 5, 8, 7, 4, 5, 8, 9, 6, 3, 2, 5, 8, 9, 6, 3. Right answer? 147, 123, 158, 149. That is? 5, 7, 7. Right answer? 74 eights are? 63 eights are? 63 eights are? Yes. 342. 29 eights are? 232. 37 eights are? faster than the calculator. 150 eights are? 148. 638 sevens are? 156. 158 are? 2.5, 8 8.9, 8 8.4. 8 8 8 no decimal numbers. 14.8. Right answer. 4.7, 8 8.9, 3.4. 12.58, 63.27. minus ka Right answer. 74.25, So, oh my gosh, friends, I was fascinated. They were just too fast, too fast. And the way they were moving their hands, I have no clue what they were doing. Because this kind of math, the beads up and down. Yeah. they were moving the beads up yes. and down. But there must be some technique. And imagining the beads and then moving them up and down itself is, I guess, very complicated. No, I mean, but I don't know. I mean, once you practice, you can. You don't need the physical thing. You can just uh, do it. Yeah. Wow. Whatever it might be, this was amazing, guys. I don't think even I can imagine the beads to do this so fast. But I guess they must be practicing since very young age. Yeah. Because they showed different age groups. There were young kids then. Then they showed a little bit older kids. And then, you know really big kids but what was amazing was that it can do all kind of calculations they showed multiplication they showed addition subtraction they showed mixture of addition and subtraction can be done like, just like you and decimal numbers yeah, you're basically just being a calculator though it's not yeah. really that much of a useful skill yeah and um, like like because you you have to understand how to do actual problems like in real life Oh, yeah. You're not just adding oh, yeah. numbers. Yeah, that's true, so, yes. So it's not as big of a skill yeah, but, as but, learning how to do Yeah, but numbers. if you know how to do these calculations... If you have then a calculator, you can just have a... Like, like everyone has a phone these days. You can just take out your phone and do it. Like, yeah, but I mean, that, then you're, you're relying on a, on, a, on a, you know, machine. What happens if you don't have a machine in a time of You can think about it. Maybe it will take a little bit more time, but you'll still figure it out. You have... You, you have you ever seen, seen like, in when you go to movie, go to mall, Walmart and all those places... And sometimes that machine, you know, messes up or has a price which is wrong. Then these guys have to um, fix it. They can't do it. I mean, we are able to do the calculation and we at times tell them because they're still struggling putting it on their phone. But by that time, we've already done the calculation. Yeah, yeah, but, that's, and but that's normal. Everyone can do that. Nein, because I mean, these are like, like 20 numbers. Like, Job, yeah, yeah, but this was fascinating, yaar. Yeah. If you have a skill, I mean, I mean, if you have this, of course, it's going to help you yeah. sometime or the other. Yeah, sometime. And they are doing this. I mean, definitely, if so many kids are doing this, there has to be some reason behind it. Right. And I personally feel that you like cannot, faster, you should not rely on calculators and machines yeah. because you never know when what will happen. Because if you have that knowledge within you, you can always use it. But their knowledge or their whatever their technique they are using, guys... This technique is really fantastic and I mean so quickly they do it. I don't know what they do. I wish we were also taught this and even Rishi was taught this, uh, you know, in school because this would be a fascinating thing to learn. I mean, don't use it, but at least know how to do it. This was really amazing. Yeah. So very good video. I think um, um, in Indian culture, the Chinese culture, the abacus is used quite a lot. But I mean, we didn't learn no, it. No, used in the sense that uh, traditionally, if we are learning somewhere, as they were showing, maybe in some villages in southern India or somewhere they are doing it, uh, that's great. So uh, the only point is we were born in cities and cities, uh, cities, they were replicating the Western culture. Mm. So everything was English medium. They taught the way schools are teaching in the West. And um, 
we learned by heart the tables but after that uh, things got more complicated it was not towards calculations but towards yeah. doing the problems yeah. so of course our mind moved like that and it's true i mean a person who does a lot of this yes they can do calculations but uh, they should not stop there they should continue to improve their skills like uh, albert einstein does not depend upon these calculations it's about how you are doing the problem it needs uh, thinking yes but if you have the skills it's a benefit so i would say that whatever they were doing it's a great benefit and if you expand on it and keep going up you would be really good in math which is a good thing but just by doing calculations of course alone yeah. you're not going to achieve much but calculations and the rest of the stuff it will yeah. be great like in our schools they never taught uh, abacus to us at all mm. they should have uh, taught us in the lower grades yeah. and uh, encourage us to use it as a technique and i'm sure that by so that would have helped us a lot i don't even think they even showed us what it was mm. when we were a kid i think probably my dad prob- got it initially when we were really small to sh- teach us counting and colors yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just counting like you know how to yeah. count 1 2 3 4 5 6 and colors this is red this is yellow this is <laughs> but not how to Off use it yeah that's what we yeah. learned yeah. but but this is fascinating i wish we also learned this technique because this looked looked fascinating and they were so quick they were so yeah. quick at certain times i felt as if they were quicker than a calculator because and but for rishi was like no he's pressing it slow intentionally no no no, no, no. he didn't press the enter button he's yeah. waiting for them to enter so, yeah. so whatever might be i thought they were really fast even faster than the calculator i was impressed guys so rishi aim for this No, right. I don't need it. So, I, mean, I don't need you, it. I mean, you, anybody can imagine like that if you had to do 56, yeah. you will just move 5 over there yeah. and move 6 over there, minus 1, move back, 55. Yeah. So, um, your mind learns to see those numbers, beads, yeah, yeah. see those beads and you are quickly able to do this. Oh, right. But somebody who doesn't have imagination like me, that's not how I'm it works. Doomed. That's not how it works. No, no, you, you need to imagine need the to beads. Move, move the beads here and there, and that's the answer wow. comes right. Wow. Minus one means one one bead goes here. That's it. Right? Okay. Plus two means two beads go over here. And yeah. So it is definitely. But what with decimals? They were doing decimals also. One point four six. Yeah. So maybe that imagining different color beads for those and then doing I it. I mean, whatever. How about borrowing? You have to borrow something. Like hundred minus minus twenty. Then you put one back and then you take off. Oh my gosh! This is really fascinating, guys. This is really fascinating. Wish we had learned it. So we hope you guys also enjoyed watching this video and were fascinated. If you were not aware of this method of you know doing calculations, so I am impressed. I'm impressed. I used to think that this guy is pretty good in math. But oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm not good at math because I don't know how to be a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, friends, we'll take your leave and we'll come back again in another video very soon. Till then, take care and bye bye. Oh, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so it notifies you when I put in my new video for you to enjoy. Bye.